January 13th, 2018. Wanted to take a look at the whole country, or northern hemisphere rather. We'll see this flow coming down from the northwest all the way down to Texas. And then it goes back up towards the northeast, towards Maine. And you'll see this line, storms bubbling up all the way up the coast there, a perfect straight line of them. Now, part of this up here was a shit storm that the whole eastern coast got yesterday. Alright, and today, temperature dropped. Yeah, yesterday it was 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Today, I believe the high, it reached about 28 degrees Fahrenheit. Very, very windy. And that's typical after you get a shit storm because they force this storm along here. And you can see like where the lower level clouds, how they're flattened out. Alright, wait till we get another look here. Alright, this is the lower level water vapor. Now, I'm going to have to get used to these new feeds because some of the old feeds I was accustomed to are no longer functional, functioning because they've got now the go 16 up and running this is band 10 lower level water vapor and here we can see the high pressure areas which will be these yellow and orange areas so you can see here off the west coast them digging in a channel right there and then straight up the coast and then back down at a 45 degree angle towards texas and then this storm move up the coast here we'll watch when it starts over here right there we got hammered yesterday okay and it's just getting shoved up there and you can see this channel off the west coast channeling down channeling back up high winds today we'll take another look this is band 14 which is long wave infrared and you can see the right angles there perfectly again I mean this shit here does not happen in nature look at that it's like the perfect letter N or W or some shit there got a 90 degree up 90 degree over 45 down 90 degree up straight line running clear from Florida to let's see at the end here clear almost up to Greenland yeah up to Greenland all right so what else do we got for today well, we'll look at the past yes yesterday watch the next rats right there and that South Carolina you see them red patterns and that kick that storm up all right watch how it tails out I mean, see that fan go up okay now yesterday last night about 10 p.m. there was three tornado warnings issued in Virginia now I do not believe any uh, any were reported, but still. <laughs> All right, now we'll take a look at the current NEXRAD reflectivity images, and looks like we got a little bit of snow here in the Central Plains. And you see this one in South California going off all the time. It's usually chopping up precipitation, help. Yeah, chop up that precipitation. Now we'll move on to here. Cut a lot of pulses in this one, especially there off the west coast. You can see a bunch of them, especially at the beginning. Watch right here, Zzz, right there. So we'll go back to this one take a look at that since we can look about back a day or so you can see that shit storm just pushing up and how that high pressure is just gouging right into that now 
take a look at some photos from today. Starting out, this is local. This is this morning, probably about uh, what time is this today? 10:51 a.m. That was the first picture I took. That was a little after. A little after. Now we starting to get these clouds developing, which I refer to as EMF roll clouds, and they are in straight lines. Some they weren't the big fluffy ones today. I don't think there was enough particulates in the air to create big fluffy ones. But yeah, and on top of that, the high pressure on, on us flattening these clouds out. Right. There's one all jagged. Okay, here's another look at, this was early this morning off the west coast. So you can see that channel starting to be carved through there. The straight line straight up and then the 45 degree this is earlier here's the east coast you can see that high pressure running right up the coast pushing up this shit storm here's the sloppy mass to flatten clouds over top of us earlier maryland microwave patterns see it all carving through Latin clouds, that's what I, how I describe them, because there's uh, air being forced down, flattening these clouds and pushing along that shit storm. But yeah, we'll end on this note here, and I'm going to start looking into all these bands a little better, but yeah this 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 should be quite evident right here that's you know right angles i mean especially two back to back and a perfect 45 degree angle like this does not happen in nature people it does not our jet streams being manipulated these storms as a result they're being intensified or there's there's a lot to geoengineering but I'm just trying to, sh to show the basics and what should be quite evident that there's jet stream manipulation taking place here. But anyways, that's my report for Saturday, January 13th, 2018.